Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Chloe Morello. Today I'm going to do uh, a look inspired by Minka Kelly. I have no idea who she is, what she does, where she's from, but um, lots of people, um, you know, I get a fair few requests to do looks by her or on her, and some people have even said that I look like her, but I don't. I don't know, I don't think so. I mean, we're just both brunettes. <laughs> uh, so, yes, I'll link a picture to the inspiration below. Someone requested it via my Facebook, um, and there should be links below to my Facebook and my Twitter and stuff as well if you want to go um, take a look at those. But otherwise, if you want to see how I did this tutorial, um, just keep on watching. First, prime your eye, and I'm using the L'Oreal Decrease. Using a flat shader brush and my Urban Decay Naked palette, I'm going to take the colour Sin, which is like a light purpley pink colour, and I'm going to apply this all over the inner part of my lid, and then blend it out towards the outer part of your lid. Now I'm going to take a blending brush, this is the Sigma E45, and I'm going to take the colour Naked, and um, put that in my crease. And I did about two layers of this colour. Now I take a pencil brush, this one is by Sigma as well, it's the E30. And I'm going to take Buck, which is this darker brown. And I'm going to concentrate this in the outer part of the crease. Or my socket. And I'm using tiny little circular motions to get that nice and deep in there. Take the E45 and blend that out. Take more buck on the pencil brush and run that under the eye. Now take your original flat shader brush and the colour Virgin. Put that on the inner corner. And as your brow highlight. And in the Naked One palette, this little 24 hour eyeliner pencil comes with it. So I'm going to use the black one, the black side of that, to create a wing. Just something kind of rough like that. Now I'm going to take this flat top brush from MAC. I don't know what the number is because it's completely rubbed off. But I'm going to use the black from the Naked palette which is called Creep. And I'm going to use this to um, set that liner as well as neaten it up. Now I'm taking a white eyeliner, this is the NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk, and this is going on my waterline. Using the L'Oreal Falsies Mascara, I'm going to apply this to my upper and lower lashes. Now I'm going to apply these Ardell Demi Wispies, and everyone's always asking me where I get my eyelashes, and I get them from MadameMadeline.com, and I think there will be a link in the lower bar. Um, but yeah, they are like $2.60 a packet if you buy them in bulk from Madame Madeline. So I always get mine from there. And they have heaps of brands. So what I'm going to do with this though is set them further along um, so that they're actually extending past my lash line. Um, just to sort of elongate my eye a little bit. Um, just excuse my skin, it's the beautiful time of month and it's loving me today. For the rest of my face, I'm going to start with a primer. This is the Shiseido Refining Makeup Primer. I have a lot of really visible pores, so I tend to use quite a bit of primer to fill those in. Recently I purchased this L'Oreal Paris Studio Secrets Anti-Dull Primer and um, I've just been using this sort of over the top of a regular primer because it doesn't so much um, perfect the skin as it does just brighten it. So I apply this in my in the center of my face and blend it out with my hands. Now I'm going to take a sea sponge and spray it with Fix Plus. Or you can just use water, it doesn't matter. 
And the foundation that I'm going to use is this Crayolan foundation. It is, um, hmm. it's this Crayolan stick foundation, right? And I'm not sure what the colour is because, I don't know. Oh, OB2. It's in the colour OB2. And um, this is, I've had this ever since I did Makeup Academy and it's what I kind of use on people when I'm doing their makeup. I've got like a little palette of it. Um, and so all I'm just going to do is, this is highly pigmented makeup. So just take uh, some on this sponge and I'm going to blend it out using the sponge. So I'm using this colour, it's a lot darker than my skin tone at the moment but she's really tan so in order to emulate her look as much as I can I'm just bronzing myself up. This is of course optional. I used to use this foundation like every day but it is really heavy so I wouldn't recommend that. It's just good for this kind of red carpet look. Now um, I will apply some concealer next. I'm just going to use my MAC NC30 Studio Finish and I've got a lot of pimples today so I'm going to be just dotting it on with a Q-tip and then blending it out with a brush. I'm going to use my Sigma P80 brush to blend that out and this is just its like a little flat stippling, synthetic stippling style brush but it's very dense, more dense than a stippling brush. It's great for blending, um, you know, concealer and foundation and things. Under my eye I'm going to use my Benefit Erase Paste, just using that same P80 brush. Yeah, P80 brush. Now using my Flirt Coconutty Eyeshadow, I'm going to put my eyebrows on. And I've got a tutorial on this if you want to go check that out. Now because that foundation is so creamy, it's a really good idea to use a powder and I'm going to use my Chanel Powder Universal Libre. I did French in year 8 but nothing stuck, so um, just uh, take a look at what that says. <laughs> I'll link it below. Um, okay, so I'm going to apply this with my Clinique Powder Foundation Brush and I kind of just press it off the puff because I don't want too much product. And I pinch the brush also, smooth out the creases under your eye, and then use that to set um, the under eye concealer. You don't want any creases under there. Great! Now for bronzer, I'm going to use this really big Nashio bronzer in Sunswept, just with the same Clinique brush, and I'm just putting that on the underside of my cheeks. A little bit like a contour powder. And along the sides of your temples. Blend it into your forehead. Some people have a some people say I've got a big forehead, so maybe I should refer it to as my five head. A bit on your chin and nose. Once you've got that all over your face and your five head, um, you can start on the lips. I'm going to use this brown uh, lip liner from Rimmel. It's in the color Cappuccino. And I'm just going to line them. Um, then I'm going to put my Creme de Nude lipstick from MAC on over the top. Um, my camera just died as I put it on, but I used a light brown lip gloss over the top of the lips, and um, that is the makeup done. I'm going to go do my hair so I look a little bit more like her. <laughs> Well everyone, that's the end of my tutorial. I hope that you enjoyed it. Remember that I'll be linking a photo to the inspiration below. And if you liked my tutorial, please comment, rate and subscribe. Um, positively or negatively, I like any kind of feedback. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.